drink a lot of water, two liters a day. Many people in developed countries also drink a lot. It's kind of human right. However, there are 840,000 people die from the water-related disease. 750 million people lack access to clean water. Actually, Taiwan has serious water-related problems. First two water rationing set to start February 26. It's not a problem which only affects people in Africa, but also a problem affecting 23 million people in Taiwan. At the same time, we are also making the water shortage problem worse. Carbon dioxide is reaching history peak. Global warming makes extreme weather, and extreme weather makes water scarce. We need to solve water problem as soon as possible to save millions of people. I would like to propose a water support system, which combines water treatment system, independent energy system, and optional seawater desalination system. The water treatment system can purify water and extract water from human natural waste. Purifying water can generate drinkable water and prevent a water-related disease. Human lateral waste still contains water. If we can extract water from human lateral waste, Water scarcity can be relieved and local health can be much improved. And so many coastal countries, such as Taiwan, not keeping water well. They are so close to water but cannot access it. Seawater desalination is the key to help those countries. Seawater desalination needs a lot of energy. Water treatment also needs energy. Current solutions are frequently not realistic such as burning lateral wells to run the system. Burning lateral wells is not stable enough to continually run the system and generate carbon dioxide. I have proposed a modular energy system which can use different energy resources to operate the system. Photovoltaic, also called solar panel, is the most mature renewable energy, but it needs fuel cell as backup to run at night. Fuel cell is a new, highly efficient, and uh, low carbon emission technology. Fuel cell usually only generates water as the rest. My system also can use small modular reactor, which is extremely safe and reliable. Small modular reactor doesn't need any fuel refill for several years, and that has no coal made down risk. Different areas can use photovoltaic and uh, fuel cell or small modular reactor based on their needs. Photovoltaic, fuel cell, and a small modular reactor. Are the best utilities to start global warming. Why is modularity so critical? Traditionally, international organizations offer loans to countries to build infrastructure. However, politics is always so complicated and it makes things worse. The modular design allows charity organizations ship everything from the headquarters to water shortage area. Local interference can be minimized. Modular design also allows different combinations for different needs of different areas. The extreme weather and water shortage problem is not a main issue, but a plain issue. I want to leverage the GSP program to collaborate with the best talent and to solve the water shortage problem. We can save millions of people if we start to do it now. Thank you.